Hello friends, welcome back to my gaming channel Neorpo and we are back with control. So in the last video we cleansed this checkpoint and we are trying we were trying to get to the communications department. So let's continue. We obviously don't have any clearance level. This is clearance level two. Communications. We're on the right track. So I need to get through here. Let's check the other places first. There is something here. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by the of the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. I think they got the object of power name OOP from the OOPS concept that is object oriented programming. I'm not sure but I feel like it. Let me check the other places first. There is some collectibles. Oh, the one that we just got, right? Object or no, flower. No, the flower. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a. Yeah. What happened? Are they gone or more are there? Because the music says more are there. Yes, there is one more at least. Are you guys done? Ah, it seems they are done. Yes, we have been here before. We tried to get in here, but there is something in here because of which we can't go in here. And we can't get to this side either, I guess. Yes. I am seeing something over there. Can I climb there? Yes. More undefined reading. And then I went through here and cleaned this place basically.
let's go down here and check if we have missed something in the dark I guess I have not because even if it was dark I tried to get almost everything There seems to be nothing. Let's check down here. There is something in here. Dead presidents. To whom it may concern, I am being contacted by past presidents of the United States of America. They appear in, as spirit guides giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America. Uh, but I can't really understand him. They have, they all have a lot of opinions. People tell me I am imagining, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower, and I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that. I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you would like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I am the, I, I know the White House could use me. Yours in earnest, James Bartholomew. Nothing else in here. Let's keep moving. What about here? There is something here as well. Book Club Penny. Hello avid readers. The Bureau Book Brunch will convene at the usual spot in the corner table of the cafeteria at 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Currently discussing Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Everyone should get their reviews to me by Monday before lunch so I can generate some conversation starters before the meeting. Happy reading, Penny Bartwell. There is something here. Ah, weird. <coughs> Let's keep moving. We need to get to the communications department now. Check this room, I think. Yes, I did check this room. Do the doors on those two sides open? No, they look like closed elevator doors. Time to finally move to the communications department. This one is locked. Do 
do I go straight do I go up let's check this place first nothing here What the hell? An object of power. Looks like the hiss have latched onto it. We need to cleanse it. Reach the object of power to cleanse it, but let's check the shelter first. There's something here. Book Club Samson. Book Club Notes for Penny by L. Samson. So I don't usually read a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas goes, this was alright. The title Unless You could refer to a bunch of things in the book, I guess. But I thought it was a little vague and stupid. The way the characters keep throwing it around, almost like a catchphrase, got real annoying real fast. The best part of the story was the space battles. I sided with the fixers obviously because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers in guns space hippies or a badass bunch of warriors who go around devouring planets like cheap sushi on a Saturday, I know who I am picking. That scene where they invade city planet and convert the entire population using those brain worms and that space dog fight between those two S pilots sign me the fuck up what kind of ruined what kind of ruined the whole thing for me was my favorite character was when my favorite character got killed not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitational anomaly his de death did the didn't feel necessary at all. Two of five. This is the one that I got missing one. Let's check what is in here. House memory. And before I go in here, let's go upstairs first. I guess I can't go further. Let's check what is in here. Shatter recoil something. A mod basically. Shatter recoil efficiency. Exclusive to shatter. There is a different kind of gun called Shatter, I think that I will get later. Okay, let's get back to cleansing the object of power. Okay, crouch to take cover behind low objects. Previously this didn't work. I tried everything for crouch. There is something there. More house memory. The things I can't do anything from here. Seemingly, I can't do anything from here. Can I shoot it from here? Okay, 
shooting it does nothing. Time to move. Now what? Is there anything I can get from here? I guess not. I don't have a level 1 clearance. Let's climb the stairs. It is upstairs after all. I thought I could reach it, but I guess not. Yeah. This was about supposed to happen, like uh, the way I got hurt after jumping. Mm. Obviously, it will start from this point, but. All the stuff I have gotten so far are on the right track. An object of power. Looks like the hiss flashed onto it. We need to cleanse it. Okay, reached upstairs. I need to cross that uh, bridge. Nothing in here, I guess. So I need to get from here towards the thing. Okay, so. We are close by. Oh, it's that floppy disk. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like channel's been changed the boards in charge here they're pyramids in the bureau seal are they really the ones pulling the strings i'm not their director i'm no one's director okay hold r1 grab highlighted object release r1 launch okay that's great. Use launch to compel the uh, complete the astral plane challenge. Okay, I need to pull this and launch them in in here. There's a bar also, so I guess I can't <coughs> use this energy infinitely. It reach I need to wait for it to recharge. Let's keep moving. Uh, okay, let's climb here. Oh no. Oh, 
Oh. <clears throat> I need to wait for it to recharge, obviously. And I don't need to aim it exactly, it seems. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help oh, me no. fight the hiss. They are here. It becomes easier to fight with these stuffs. This person is coming to me. Okay. Any more? I guess not. Proceed through the communication department. Where? From where? Undefined reading. Obviously, I can't get here. I don't see anything else to do in here. Which direction do I proceed into? Um, oh my god. His Ranger. Field research on his entity, his corrupted Ranger. Confidential. Summary, the rangers are the bureau's well-trained and well-armed expeditionary forces. Their his corrupted counterparts are equally formidable. Prior to corruption, rangers were trained to use a variety of weapons in order to face any threat found during AWE response or threshold exploration, including submachine guns, assault rifles, and automatic shotguns. His rangers utilize these weapons as well as the advanced tactics taught by Bureau's instructors. Some are additionally outfitted with Bureau-made body armor. His rangers have no observed paranatural abilities beyond some being protected by a shielding of dense his resonance capable of stopping bullets. 
Considering the advanced training the his rangers are capable of applying to their situation, is it feasible to consider the human mind still remains intact to some degree? Or is the his able to tap into their combat training and utilize it? Further observation is required. Refer to file something for full report. His demolition expert. Field research on his entity, his corruption demolition expert. Confidential summary. The bureau only allows certain highly trained individuals to handle volatile materials and weaponry. Our demolition experts are instructed to use the in the use of explosives in dim dimensions with distinct physical laws, making them important assets for engineering work as well as combat situations. His demolition experts are the only observed his variations to wield specific the specifically built rocket propelled grenade that is designed to identify and track something entities once fired making them a threat whose termination should be prioritized in combat scenarios. I find it remarkable that the his restrict usage of these weapons to the bureau personnel who train specifically for its use. What does this tell us about its behavior? Can it not pass along new information to corrupted entities? Still too many unknowns. Refer to file something for full report. Case files. Floppy disk. ID floppy disk OOP5KE. Acquisition date 3 11 1978. Containment location redacted. Floppy disk OOP5KE. Containment procedure must be contained in a cell with no other loose materials. Material description slash para utility. The object is a 8 inch diskette containing Soviet era nuclear launch codes. When bound, the object allows paraeutilitarians to telekinetically lift materials and throw at a sh it throw it a short distance. See Dr. Darling's presentation 11.15 for more information. The object is currently bound to something for research purpose. Background: Stolen from a Soviet military base located in something by agents something and something with the CIA. The diskette contained launch codes to something missiles believed to be reserved for use against something. After being returned to America, the diskette began throwing computational hardware at members of the decoding team. At in an informant in the CIA tipped the bureau off and it was requisitioned by agents the next day. Okay. Oh, so um, sorry. I checked this shelter, right? <coughs> Let's move back. mail room this place opened up this place was blocked off initially Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room okay Let's see what's in here. More undefined reading. What's here? Correspondence. Thomas E. Willow AWE Outcome. Federal Bureau of Control. Reinforming campaign summary of Willow AWE. 
National news sites have began publishing the story of the polar bear attack on the Alaskan town. You all know I don't like to boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food because their ecosystem is being ruined by global warming was a stroke of genius. Using current ecological concerns makes the public much less likely to something. So another AWE behind us and the public is none the wiser. Well, does everyone. Well done everyone, sorry. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. This doesn't mean we can't stop can stop monitoring something and something for any up message opinion, but it's looking like we are in the clear. Thomas he out. Seems I can't go to that side uh, yet, or maybe I can. Let's check this side. Nothing observed so far. There is something over that side. More undefined reading. So nothing else around here, right? Let's get moving. Mail room is to the right. Let's check this side first. Let's move up. Further up. What do we have here? This guy is like a boss fight. Oh no. Okay, took care of the boss. 
Hidden train personal log house memory. Let's see what we got. We got a mod also. Low health boost. I think my current one is better. Weapon armor damage. Personal mods. Health recovery. Okay, I didn't want to do that. Let's see what's here. Data breach. System security evaluation confirm data breach. Summary. Last month, on our on-site server experienced an intrusion by unauthorized users. After a thorough investigation, it was confirmed that the user only accessed a video file which contained portions of various Dr. Darling presentations. Investigators were able to track the user through the IP address. The following are confirmed identities of the user. Patrick Strutrans, Rubens Noguria, Arto Kolumaki, Christopher Mills Bowling, Jaco Serinen. These individuals are in breach of Bureau Code 91 and have been placed under surveillance by our external investigation team. Further action is pending. I thought there was more collectibles, but I guess not. Let's get this, whatever it is. Launch efficiency mod. Launch energy cost it reduces that basically. There isn't anything else in here. I guess I'll need to go back. Okay, what's in here? There is something here. Marshall Lockdown Distinctions to A. Tomasi from H. Marshall. Subject Proper Distinction of Lockdown Types. Federal Bureau of Control. Pay attention Alberto, this is the last time I am explaining this. Internal lockdowns are manually triggered events that lock one or all of the sectors by restricting use of sector elevator, effectively locking staff in their sector until the emergency is handled. They can only be lifted via the directorial override in the maintenance once the director is satisfied that the... Sorry. Situation is under control. External lockdowns are the bigger deal are a bigger deal. Nothing in or out of the whole building. It's only triggered by a code red containment breach based on some complicated system that security and research slapped together. It can only be lifted once A the threat has been neutralized and B the high high clearance individual gives the system the all clear. This process is not the same as the directorial override so stop saying so in documentation i know it's confusing as hell i have told darling a hundred times to change it but they are they are adamant to say the it stays the way it is. honestly i don't think they even know how to change it at this point let's just make sure our staff understands how this mess all works okay marshall This place is like the shelter we saw. <coughs> I can't move through here. Going 
stuff around doesn't exactly do anything. Um. Okay. I need to check that if I climbed onto it, will it help? But I guess not. And I loaded it back at that previous place. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail. This is the mail room. I didn't go there. I climbed up. I went through here even, right? Okay, this is the place I died basically. This is where I fought those guys. No, those guys. Oh my god, they are back. Why? I thought they're only coming back. That's why I was here. My God. These are those specialist guys. Oh, that big guy isn't coming back, it seems. I that did get more undefined reading at least. But there is nothing to do here. I checked everything. Then I went through here. Let's go back down. Mail room is down there. Let's check this floor first. Okay, this door is locked. And what is this? Clearance level 1. Great. We finally got clearance level 1. You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airwaves for more than 20 million years. Thank you for staying up with us. Ghosts. We've had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings, voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. Today, friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan, tells his story. Quincy. Thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's suspicious call. I was in room 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed. Inside that wooden border that no tall beds tend to have, the body had been there a week, he said. Guests had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse a foot below him. They only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell. Hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since. I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick, checking under the bed first, of course. No ghosts visited me, no chill spots or flickering lights. But when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. It was dark and stiflingly hot. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me that room. Oh, there you have it, listeners. 
What we call ghosts take many forms. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story, and I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you encounter something strange, something you can't explain. Maybe you're seeing colors that we have no name for. Maybe your toaster is possessed. Remember, dear listeners, where no one else believes you, we do. America over this, we'll be right back. I tried to imagine like what uh, like lying under the bed would mean like if and if we can't get out of under the bed and dying suffocating under the bed if he hadn't been able to take the mattress off like uh, all people won't be so strong right oh my god Which guy came up there? Who knows? Okay, so as I was saying, like, imagining it got me scared. The ghost thing did not make me scared, but imagining that being under the bed with unable to move it. Damn, good. Okay, let's check this shelter. Shelter service has. <coughs> Nothing here. Let's get this one. More clearance. Uh, undefined reading. House memory. Something like that. Uh, okay. Let's keep moving. This is the mail room. Obviously, this is the place I am supposed to go to. I came from here. This requires clearance level 1. Mail room. Okay, this is the mail room. Oh, this is a control point. Okay, now I can fast travel from here to other places. That's great. Let's go to the mail room first. What is this? Oh, another clearance level one. This must open the door. Let's see, we are in the mail room. Oh, a boss. Tomasi, oh, this is the Tomasi guy. Oh, and he can throw stuff at us too. And we can't throw stuff at him. Okay, I think I understood. I can't throw stuff at him, but he will throw stuff at me. And I can't outrun his throwing stuff. It will hit us, so I'll have to crouch behind something or stuff like that. At least it's great that I got a save here after coming so far. I can fly now. 
great. Oh no, I'm forgetting to dodge. Oh no. Okay. And he's running. This was this is like our first official boss fight. I have a feeling he'll be back. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mail room. Collectibles, research and records. His elevated field research on sorry, his entity, his elevated agent, confidential summary. His elevated agents display abilities similar to telekinesis competencies observed in bureau para utilitarian. Some prefer to change charge their targets 
while others launch objects at them. Telekinetic attacks have been ineffective against the His Elevated due to their own talent in the area. They do not use any weaponry except their own paranatural capabilities. Some His Elevated have been seen levitating while strapped into chairs. This is likely the result of individual being corrupted while undergoing cognitive recording in parapsychology. How are they able to use paranatural abilities? Is it possible that these individuals were bound to objects of pri power prior to corruption? It's also worth considering that the His resonance can identify and express latent paranatural ability in the individual it corrupts. Refer to file something for full report. Let me first check if there is anything else in this room. Hotline chamber. So I need to go up basically. Nothing in this room. This is basically, this was basically a boss fight area. We need to go there, I know. Oh, this is a way to get around, basically. Nothing much around here. We are in the hotline chamber. Let's see what this is. Tomasi's ID. Well done, everyone. It was strong campaign, perfectly executed. Alberto Tomasi, the one that became the is his elevated. Of comms. The his got him. Yep. But summary but AW is 17 ID AW 17 event date 9 23 1922 92 event location but Montana but AW 17 event summary a spat of disappearance was stressed to a home in the city of but where bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch to call, switch card Event response. Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity located at something something, which has been connected to a total of something disappearance in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house something days later found in a sealed room by rangers exploring the new area of the house. The light switch card in Burt's room closet disappeared during the in this incident. Okay. Let's see what this contains. More undefined reading. Before getting to, I am. I will stop here for now, and I will start with this step in the next video. Bye bye.